What ho there, peasants, and welcome to the Skyrim Special Edition Mod Showcase with me, Che, and today's mod is technically, technically speaking, it's a re-upload slash remake of some older mods that were available. And this is the Insanity Sorrow Weapons Pack. This has been uploaded by, technically, by a guy called Calthrop. But it's with permission from Insanity Sorrow. Now, if you don't know who Insanity Sorrow is, you clearly did not mod your previous Skyrim game. And if you did, you clearly missed out on some huge mods. Freaking huge mods. Now, this guy, Insanity Sorrow, is someone who uploaded some mental looking weapons, which you are going to be seeing cycling through in today's episode. Now, it's going to be. I, I couldn't. I could have done this in the game, but it would have taken me a billion years to try and find them all using the console. I've been there forever to show you each one. We would have been here forever. And what I want you guys to do is just see them on the video here, so you can go and get them inside of the game. Now, everything in this video is craftable, except from Umbra and the Huntsman. Now, the Huntsman, you'll notice it's the most badass-looking bow on here. You'll know it when you see it. And Umbra is one of the swords which you'll see during today's uh, episode. And you'll probably know it when you see it. It's fairly interesting. It's not extravagant, but it's pretty awesome. Now, this actual mod adds, at the moment, about 20 weapons to the game. Now, these are all made by the Santa Tesoro, who makes stupidly high-quality um, items. Now, in here, we've got a selection of different glass bows, which you've already seen. Silver bows, steel bows, iron bows. We have a ton of Dwemer stuff as well, from claymores, short swords, war axes, battle axes, maces, and warhammers. There's even a steel short sword short in here. And there are a number of them which are named weapons. For example, the Stamford, which is a weapon which I believe has already cycled around, or will do. The Bastard, in one-handed and two-handed features, because it's like a bastard sword, it's just a typical one-handed sword. Umbra, you have a different type of ebony sword and a different type of great sword as well for ebony. Now there has been recently updated which has added a couple of other ones on here as well which look freaking epic. You've got the, th oh I don't know how to pronounce this, the Thagan? The Thagan? No idea what that is, I've never seen one in my life. You've of course got the Huntsman which is an incredible looking bow which I can't wait to find. The Celtic Katana, the Zatoichi Blades, the Dragon Katana, and the Empire Longswords. Now these are all weapons which are currently cycling through on screen, looking physically fan-freaking-tastic, like they always have done from Insanity Sorrow. I have been waiting for this mod to appear of some kind of Insanity Sorrow mod because they are all absolutely fantastic. And I'm basically making this video, guys, to tell you that they are available to download. So go and download it. If you don't know how to do it, dead simple, you go over to the Nexus mod, uh, page which is linked below in the description and you hit the download the Nexus mod manager button. If that's not working for you, hit the download manual button, download the 1.5 edition and just manually install it. Dead easy to do. I will quickly show you how to manually install the mods. It's that simple. Here we go. So all you need to do is if you're going to do it through the actual Nexus mod manager itself, if that link works for you. For me it doesn't seem to work, I don't know why. Um, it will appear down there and it will install itself. But if you need to do it manually, all you need to do is head to the Nexus Mod Manager, hit the big green plus button, find it in your list, which here, Insanity Sorrow Weapon Pack 1.5, open it. It will then come down here, tell you it's doing its thing. If it's, if it's completed, it's completed. Find it and hit the tick button. That is literally it. It will most likely question a couple of things it usually does. It will be unpacking, as you can see down there. Once it's done, it will go. If it conflicts, conf conflicts, conflicts with anything, Often not just pressing yes tends to work, it overrides anything it doesn't need to. For example, this texture cube out of 70 shiny bright ads has already been installed by Uni Uniques. So if it's already been done, you know it's already there, then then you can either leave it or, or add onto its own thing. In this case, I'm just gonna click no, uh, there's only a couple of them, and we'll leave it there. If you notice any problems and you know where it's coming from. So there you go! There you have it. Back to my favorite weapon, which is the dragon katana here. Woo! It's freaking awesome. And I thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you did enjoy this video. Please. Don't forget to give us a good old-fashioned like rating and subscribe and make sure you go download this video. I know it's an insanely simple video here, but I needed to tell you this one is up. I need to tell you. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in a series of series of two freaking old friends. The word of the video is... INSANITY! Ah! So, yes, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in a series of series of two. Goodbye! I'm going to say...